Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. So both clouds and humidity on the rise this evening. Some fog across the coastline and eventually uh, some much needed rain. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar locally, we don't see much. Activity, the rain, the thunder, still out towards upstate New York. It'll take until uh, early tomorrow morning for that to arrive. Visibility's been coming down along the south shore. Inland areas, it's fine, but places like Wesley Half Mile as well as Newport, Block Island at five miles. The Cape in the islands with some low clouds and fog right now. That'll continue into early tomorrow morning. Threat tracker now through Wednesday in the low category, despite uh, some showers on the forecast for Tuesday. Nothing really high impact, significant or severe. So uh, relatively quiet. And again, we welcome the rain. It's much needed. It'll be scattered. An embedded thunderstorm can't be ruled out. Humid weather for tonight. Then essentially dry weather for the rest of the week. I'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. Downtown Providence, cloudy, breezy, cool and humid. High humidity now close to 90%. 53 with clouds and seacock right now. We'll head over to Warwick. Coming in with cloudy skies and 51 and Coventry at 53. Most areas now are in the low 50s. Here's the situation tracking a system now across the Great Lakes in upstate New York. You see scattered showers and thunderstorms. Keep in mind now that we're in spring and almost summer, the flecks of yellow and orange represent downpours and sometimes thunderstorms. So this is the activity headed our way for tomorrow. Not the entire day. There'll be some lulls, but I would certainly keep the umbrella on standby. Get in real close. Future cast will walk you through this hour by hour, starting off about now with the low clouds and fog. The green represents the rain. You see scattered showers, 8 o'clock in the morning, temperatures in the mid 50s. Showers continue at noon time. There may be a brief heavy downpour, an isolated thunderstorm. This is 12 noon. And then by late afternoon, this first batch is headed offshore, so we may catch several hours. See the, the empty space over here where you get some breaks in the clouds, some partial sun late afternoon. That'll boost the temperature up a little bit. And then by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, a second round of scattered showers and thunderstorms will come through. All of this will pull away later tomorrow night, and then we're back to dry weather on Wednesday. Future cast tomorrow morning with showers likely a little extra travel time at 11 o'clock in the morning 64 it should clean out the pollen somewhat and then tomorrow afternoon up until about say two o'clock a scattered shower or a thunderstorm 65 a little bit of a lull late in the day and then we'll bring them back the showers tomorrow evening. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday look fine though I've added extra clouds to Friday temperature at 70 Wednesday not bad sunshine dry you know, seasonable temperatures you know upper 60s to low 70s a nice day early call on the holiday weekend Saturday and Sunday at this point confidence is pretty high of some sunshine both of those days so looking good you know Memorial Day still seven days down the road but we're going a cloud sun mixture a little milder with temperatures in the uh, mid 70s tomorrow's rain helps but it's not a cure in this little mini drought that we're in you can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablets as well. Rain is welcome, but we'll keep an eye to the sky for the possibility of some thunder too. You know, a lot of people are planting and it's really dry. Is this unusual to be this dry this time of year? This, not, this kind of a stretch, not that unusual, but if it extends into the summertime season, then it becomes a real problem. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Tony.